A pioneer is a person who helps create a new ideas that affect how people think or understand something. This project explains why my famous American Ruby Bridges was a pioneer. Ruby Bridges was a first grader with dark skin. About 65 years ago, some people did not think kids with pink or white skin colors should go to the same schools as kids with brown or black skin colors. This is called segregation. That's why certain government officials made it illegal to segregate schools. According to the United States government, for more than 238 years, all people are created equal. If that's the USA way, then all kids should be able to go to nice schools. Yet, in the 1950s, kids with darker skin color went to schools that were not as good as the schools that had kids with lighter skin color. When Ruby Bridges went to school, she was the only kid learning in the entire school. Before then, only light-skinned kids went there. This is because the white and pink kids' parents took their kids out of school because of Ruby being there. Can you imagine being a grown-up and being scared of a little kid because she had dark skin? This gro these grown-ups were so scared of integration. Some of them yelled at Ruby every morning when she went into school. Eventually, Ruby began to to have white and pink skinned classmates because they got tired of staying home for so many months and their parents gave up fighting for segregated schools because integrated schools were the law and segregation was against the law. Ruby Bridges was a pioneer because when schools integrated after hers did, things were easier for most of the kids. To show this, I interviewed a lady named Pat Stone who went to an in all black school and then moved to an integrated school. When did you switch to an integra integrated school? I switched to an integrated school my freshman year in high school. They actually had integrated the year before, but decided that we didn't have to go until after we completed the eighth grade. So that's when I went. Were you happy or sad about the change? I think I was happy about it because all my friends went with me. So it wasn't like I wasn't gonna know anybody there. And uh, some of our teachers went also because you had more kids and you had to have more teachers. So none of the teachers lost their jobs. They just changed locations. What did you think about the change in the school? What did I think about the change with the school? Well, I think it turned out to be pretty good. The transition worked out because most of our fathers had been working together anyway. I'm from a coal mining region. And so the, the kids' names I already knew because when I was at the segregated school, all of our books were used. So we recognized the names of the kids. Did people yell at you like Ruby Bridges? Actually, we had a very smooth transition. Nobody fought, nobody yelled. Everybody understood. They were just there to learn and it was such a small town. Is there anything else you want to share? What? Or anything I've forgotten to ask. Evie, yeah. I'm going to tell you about the difference in the building. When I was at the segregated school, it was an old building that had, uh, what had a basement where the restrooms were located, and then there were two additional floors. 
It was heated with a, uh, uh, guess what you would call an old boiler. So, and we didn't really have school buses then. So we'd walk to school, get to school, discover the boiler was out in the wintertime, and you have to turn around and walk back home. So when we integrated, they also got us a bus so we could then ride to school and the heating system worked a lot better at the new school. Okay, so the building was just better all around. Miss Stone had an easier time than Ruby. I think that's because Ruby was the first kid to integrate a school and people got used to the idea.